Welcome back everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a very specific anime series, uh, a horror anime series, which is pretty rare these days. Uh, it's called Shiki. It's based off a novel series that became a manga series and then became an anime series back in 2010. So in short, what this series is about is, well, think of Stephen King's uh, Salem's Lot, but with a lot more, well, anime. So that's pretty much what you're getting into. But the reason I had to talk about this particular series, especially during this time of the year, what with Halloween around the corner and all, I felt the need to talk about this because I felt like there was something a little bit extra creepy about these particular vampires. So let's dive right into it. So the plot is pretty straightforward. We have uh, some mysterious neighbors move into the mansion on top of the hill on this quiet little remote town uh, somewhere in Japan. And the main person of interest in this family is a little girl named Sonoko, who has this very distinct look of pale skin, these really wide, dark eyes that become sort of a staple for all the vampires in the village. So it's only a matter of time before the villagers are taken out one by one. There's a whole series of funerals, and then a few days later, they uh, come right out of the graves as the villagers like to call them the Risen, and the word that gets thrown around a lot is Shiki, just like the title, which translates to Corpse Demon. And so the person I would call the main protagonist uh, is a young doctor named Toshio, who uh, becomes privy to this whole vampire takeover of the village. He even does a series of experiments to try to understand the whole vampire nature and basically find out their weaknesses and how to attack them, which I mean, even in this day and age, this you know, series came out in 2010, I feel like people should know what vampires are by now. That's a horror trope that's I, I just never understood. So there's like a whole series of stories between all the different characters, so it's a pretty wide cast, and we get to know quite a few of them. Uh, and one of the first victims is a girl named Megumi, who had dreamt of leaving this quiet village uh, to go to the city and uh, achieve sort of like pop idol level fame and fortune, etc. And of course, unfortunately, that doesn't work out, becoming a... Uh, undead creature of the night. Uh, her story is pretty tragic, especially seeing her transformation, but what's fascinating in the show is we do see the transformation of other characters and what they go through. There's definitely a very emotional level uh, to these characters. Granted though, I would say one of the big negatives of the show is that it does take its sweet time. It's, uh, it's a 21 episode series that really could have been half the length. It feels like it keeps cycling through the same content over and over by saying, Oh yeah, this person's next, uh, slowly dying, we know what's going on, and, uh, well, they turn into a vampire or a shiki, and, uh, well, we're doing this whole thing again. Funny enough, some of the best stories are these two extra episodes that are not part of, like, the main line series. They're, like, two side episodes. I think you can find them as, like, episode 20.5 or 19.5, and they're, they're some of the best stories in the entire show, ironically. And it's about these two particular villagers and what they went through during this whole ordeal, and it's surprisingly very emotional emotional and heart-wrenching, and I'm surprised it's a lot harder to find these particular episodes. But if you do wind up watching the show, definitely track down those episodes. So where the show also tries to go to is kind of bring up this sort of moral dilemma of who are the true monsters, uh, the Shiki or the humans, when the humans start, well, attacking them towards the end. And it's an ethical dilemma that I don't understand, uh, considering the fact that the Shiki are here to kill without any real you know, rights to the human beings who are already living peacefully in this village, so I don't think there's really an argument here. Alright, so in conclusion, this is not the best horror series out there, and not even the best horror anime series, but there are just these creepy little details that made it a very worthwhile experience. That's why Shiki gets my score of three stars. So guys, have you seen Shiki or any other horror anime during this Halloween season? And if not, what else have you been watching lately? Comment below, let me know, and stay tuned right here if you all want to see more.